Josh, move yeah. your arms like your Abby. Be like, hi, like wave. <laughs> <laughs> we ordered a bunch of the bacon machines on the internet. All the links are gonna be in the description. But we are on a journey to find out which bacon cooker cooks best. Why buy bacon if it's gonna taste like Why buy bacon if it's gonna Exactly. Exactly. I said exactly first. Let's start with the first one. Making bacon. This was invented by a little child named Abby, the inventor. Uh, she's probably an adult now. Yeah, 1996. Abby's all grown up now. We should look up Abby, see if she's got like a nice crib, you know, like. Abby Fleck became a millionaire selling the making bacon kit itching tool. Okay, so this one is relatively cheap. We saw this one on Amazon. It's simple, quick, and easy. The box, it sells it. Don't rip Abby, just rip the box. Look at this. It's a it's a clothes hanger. Did you wash your hands? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely a few times today. Um, definitely washed my hands quite a few times. You just drape it on there, and and we're gonna have the most perfectly cooked bacon. Yeah, you should just fill it up. Doesn't give you a time. There's literally no instructions with this thing. Uh oh, Abby, place it in the microwave and cook to your liking. There's cooks. no direction. We're doing a minute. Doesn't sound good. There's no metal on it. Don't let me down, Abby. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, down, down. Name that song. So we're on two and a half minutes. Okay, so think about it. How many slices of bacon are on there? A dozen. Six. 30 seconds per slice of bacon, and that looks done. I don't know if I like it or not. A little chewy, a little microwavy. So it's perfect for a breakfast sandwich, and if you're trying to cook something fast in the morning, I'm gonna say that this works for bacon. I've got lots of options. I can't say this is the best yet, can I? I'm gonna smash Abby on this. No, I shouldn't say that. Worth it, and it works. It's more floppy than uh, I overheard. This isn't like showstopper bacon. No. I would agree, good on a breakfast sandwich. All right, let me wash my hands. <laughs> this is La Originale Bacon Wave. Sous le bacon et la perfection. Oh, that was very nice. Mmm, <laughs> instructions, very helpful. All right, good to know that our bacon's long enough. If you've got stubby bacon, this is not the machine for you. What do I do with the sticks? Yeah, you gotta stab the bacon. The chart says, for four slices of bacon, oh wow, three minutes, 35, so let's do 330. I smell burned bacon. Oh, hold your horses, the thing melted. Here we go, let's just pull that apart. Oh. Oh no. Looks like bacon jerky. Berkey? Bacon bark. I hate burned bacon. I like flimsy, thick bacon. This is burnt to crisp. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right. It's cooked to that point where when you chew it, it I don't just like it. it shatters. I think we need a bacon wave. Good butter. Mmm. Ah! <laughs> mmm-hmm. Yup. It's got a good texture though. What happened? They're not microwavable safe. This is really bad. Yeah. I ate some of that too. Lukui. Six slices of crispy bacon in less than five minutes. Let me get a little detail shot of these instructions because they're actually kind of confusing. Just make sure it goes inside every little divot. Every finger it. <clears throat> okay, into the microwave it goes. Yeah, that's definitely done. That's the most best looking bacon. It's, it's still done, it's hard, but it's got a little BF to it. Hey, we could have made it more crispy. We could have kept that timer rolling. Does this work? It works. It didn't fall apart. This looks like green bacon. Oh yeah. That's good texture. I'm good him. Right now, this is the best one. But we got more to try out. So let's do it. This thing's hefty. They, they got a lot going on with this. This can go in the oven or the microwave. Huh. Dude, it comes with a fidget spinner. Traps and recirculates heat while it harnesses all the natural flavors for better tasting bacon. Look at all this packaging. I don't know if I'm a fan of the packaging, you know, environmentally, mm -hmm. guys. Um, I did wash my hands. Julia can vouch for me. I cranked it and it like destroyed the bacon. Oh, no. Definitely needs more time. What is it doing? It's kind of compressed. Yeah, because you can't cook that any oh, longer. Oh no, that piece is. Right. This one's overcooked. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It didn't develop a rich color like the other one did. Yeah. Definitely firming up a little bit. Mm. Very greasy. Has a good texture too. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like hard and chewy like the microwave. Yeah. But they definitely give up the looks portion of it. Wow, I'm really torn now. <laughs> no. It worked. It worked for sure. It worked. I have to say that this is more of the texture that I like just by looking at it, but it is pretty greasy. Sorry, baby boss, I wanted to like you. But does it work? It works. It works. 
Next one. We got the bacon, bacon lounger. This is in a bacon cooker. Did you get this? Not the right thing. No. Whoa, did I, I might have broke that. The Bacon Express. It does six band-aids. Does that say six band-aids? What is six this? Six bands. English size. Six strips. Strips. So this isn't a microwavable thing. This is a standalone bacon maker. It is 30 bucks on Amazon. So it's almost twice as expensive, but it does come with its own heating element. So it makes its own bacon. Here are the instructions, guy. All right. This is actually kind of cute looking. I like it. Oh, yeah, it's got like a retro look to it. All right, good job. Thank you. All right. When done preheating, the cooking dial will beep 10 times. I don't know if we need 10 beeps. And then 10 more beeps when it's done. Are you serious? I'm not making that up. I don't even think a microwave beeps that much. Oh, here it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a soft beep. Okay. Ooh! Ooh. It's basically just a, a, a personal griddle for bacon. Shut the doors. Come on, bacon maker, $30 thing that plugs in and has its own heating element. You take too long. It gives you a perfect time to bring this trash out. We, we can't bring it out right now. Don't forget all this stuff. All right, Travis is here just because I haven't sat next to him during this video. Yeah, what's up with it? Oh, it's done. Oh, Whoa. look at that. It almost looks like one side cooks, but the other side doesn't. How do they tell you to get it off? You just take it off with your hand? That actually don't look too That looks bad. fantastic. Despite the fact that this is incredibly dangerous, folks. Ah! This is probably the best looking bacon. I like the color. I like the texture. I like the feel. I think it's all right. Probably tastes the best. What else can you make with it? You can't really do anything else with that. Unless maybe like you want to have like some weird pancakes. Do we really need more appliances in our kitchen? Negative. Do we? Where are you going to put that thing? It does look nice though. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Best tasting. It tastes fried, which it is. All right guys, thanks for coming along on our bacon adventure. I thought it was very profound. I learned a lot from this. Also want to give a big thanks to Dudes in Space for being our testers. They're basically bacon food connoisseurs. So you got to check out their channel, Dudes in Space. We'll have a link in the description. Hit the bell icon. Notifies you when we post. Abby, you did a damn good job. We're going to use it again. Yay! So Abby wins because there's a face to a name. The red one definitely wins on the look. The Bacon Boss wins on flavor, but the Bacon Express is the most authentic tasting. And guys, comment below and let us know out of the five bacon machines, which one do you think worked the best? Alright, I'm hungry. Christine and JC are coming over too. Yay!